First of all, can you imagine if you were born in the past where language has not been found? It must be very difficult for you, mustn't you? There is no dictionary, there is no school, there is no book, and of course, there is no Google Translate to help you. So, what you gonna do? How you learn language? I think it is almost impossible we can learn or acquire language the same as how we acquire it today. So how? It is complicated but I must say that the existence of a language in this world is really a gift that makes us different from other creatures. A language may be exist in this world because of a long process which taken of course more than thousand years. Yeah, it can be as complex as now, up to go through many processes in many centuries. Well, hi guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss how calm language is exists in this world. Who made or created it? When? What exactly the first language? Well, instead of the questions before, actually there are so many questions related to the origin of language. However, our recent science and technology still cannot provide empirical data to prove the answers. So, I want to remind you that the answers that I will give to you in this video is still based on theory or hypothesis. It's not like a pack like the test of sugar is sweet. Why? Because the language has no physical footprint or legacy. We also don't have time machine to cross check the pack. Anyway, let's talk about those theories now. In the perspective of science, many linguists develop the theory of evolution by Darwin. The first theory of how language exists is the physical adaptation source. This theory states that the human body has something unique that is different from other creatures. Our lips, tongue, teeth, paring, and larynx are musical systems in our body. They have roles to produce sounds when we are speaking. They are different to apes. Apes may have a body like us, but the shape and the size of our musical system on our body are different to apes. That's why they can't speak the way we speak. In evolution theory, researchers discussed that the first Homo sapiens may exist emerged 300,000 years ago. Our ancestors have mutation and evolution in their body which supports them to make sounds. This is the start of language coming to exist in this world. According to Noam Chomsky, human speech may have appeared between 200,000 and 100,000 years ago. Well, the next theory is the genetic sort theory. This theory explains more how our physical bodies changes. Some estimates link this timeline to the development of the FOXP2 gene, also known as the language gene. In such amazing way, human gene evolves so our brain and our physical appearance are different. This is supported by Noam Chomsky. In his theory, the single step theory, Chomsky states that our ancestor have one moment leveling up. This leveling up made us different to other creatures. Chomsky also claims that human has language acquisition device. Now we know that we have a body that supports us to speak. However, it has an answer how the language created. 
then the natural sound source theory may help us to find the answer. Based on this theory, our ancestors who have the ability to speak had no language at that time. They create the language from their interaction with nature. The first theory that's explained about it is the Bow-Wow theory. Well, in this theory, language is created when humans listen to animal sound. For example, Bow-Wow is the dog sound, Meow is the cat sound. So, our ancestors named things based on their sound, especially when they named animals. The second theory is the Bow-Wow theory. In this theory, humans create language from their emotion. When something happens to them in their life, there are spontaneous sounds which they say. For example, ow when they got hurt, wow when they got surprised of something. This theory tried to explain how humans name their feeling or emotion. Well, the third theory is ding dong theory. When humans live in nature, there were sound everywhere. Sound of water, sound of wine, sound of stone which fall down, and any other sounds. Thus, human named everything around them at the time based on sounds that they got. From physical adaptation theory and natural sound source theory, we have Tata theory. This theory, the language was made based on synchronization of body movement and tongue movement. For example, tata is always followed by hand movement up and down to say goodbye, tata. Well guys, let's go to the next theory. The next theory is the social interaction source theory. This theory states that when humans live in a colony, they need to communicate with one and another. They do it when they want to do hunting or marriage. To make interactions, they must create a language. The language started from a simple code or sign. Through 100,000 years, the simple code or sign got more complex. Another theory is the putting the baby down theory. When humans got a fault, Mothers lost their hair on their bodies. It is different to apes. Their body is still covered by hair. Apes' child may hang on to their body by holding on to the his or her mother's hair. Because we lost our hair, so at that time, mothers put their baby on land or on something. Because of that, their babies started to cry. To stop their babies crying, they created sounds. Then this sound became a language between the mother and her child. This child still used the language even when they grow up and then they used the same language to their babies. From generation to generation, there are so many developments and evolutions on the languages. Then the language became what language we know now. Well, those are all theories based on sciences. Now I want to provide different perspective. Let's explore the origin of language based on religions or beliefs. This approach called the divine source theory. This theory may be an alternative for those who disagree to the Darwin's theory. In the divine source theory, language is something given by God. In Hindi, the language is created by Sarasvati, Vishnu's wife. In Christian, God gave Adam language when he sent him to earth. And when Adam was on earth, the language was only one. Then, humans tried to build a tower to reach heaven. Then God gave humans many languages. Finally, they failed to build tower because of miscommunication. In Islam, God taught Adam the names of things in the universe when he was in heaven. Then 
When Adam got to the earth with Eve, they taught their children their language. Because of Adam's children are a lot, that's why language is different from one and another. At last, the very unique theory or assumption that is language got from aliens. They believe that there is a super intelligent creation in the universe instead of human. This alien manipulated our ancestors so that we can be as smart as now. So, the language is made by this alien. Wow, it's very unique, isn't it? We may not know which story is correct, but we have to know is we super duper need language in our life. Well, C O N C L U S I O N. Conclusion Humans' language has no process to be the language that we know now. Humans start communication by using sign language, then they try to imitate sounds around them. This process, which made a language, exists. Human also had a perfect body and brain to produce, manage, and even develop the language. Let's learn many languages. It's worth it. It's cool. Because language is beautiful. And let's learn linguistics. You can't believe what will happen to your life if you know linguistics. It's spectacular. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next videos. Ta-ta!